All right, guys, I have a pretty spicy little game for you here today. Uh, this is a replay of a game that I actually played uh, on stream on Friday, I believe it was. Uh, this is a Shima game on Sea of Fortune Domination. Taking a look at the matchmaking here, threats to my ship, Stalingrad is the only radar on the enemy team. Uh, Napoli is going to be annoying to deal with because of the sap and uh, by virtue of being a Napoli being really annoying to kill. Uh, Shima, double Hayate for destroyers. The uh, Hayate, the Stalin, and Shiki are all in a div, so they're going to spawn together. So where there's one, the others are likely going to be nearby. Uh, and a U2501 to piss me off. No carriers in this game, which is always nice. And we spawn over here by Ccap in the middle of, uh, well, not really bumblefuck nowhere, but... We did spawn all by our, pretty much close to all by our bumblefuck selves. Because all we have over here to back us up is a Hindenburg and an Ohio. Which, to be fair, uh, there are worse ships that you could be getting backed up by. Uh, so, honestly, it's not too, too bad. As long as these two play like they have some semblance of intelligence, we should be okay. So... Right here, what I'm looking at is, I, I just want to get early spots. Uh, I'm not expecting to contest C, especially since we don't know where the Stalingrad is yet. Uh, if the Stalingrad were to be spotted, like, somewhere around uh, in A, like, going for this island, or even this island if he's v feeling adventurous, uh, I might be more inclined to uh, go and contest C, because whatever is over here, I can just smoke up in its face. If I have to. But we do in fact spot the Napoli and the Stalingrad as well. Who is heading in over in this direction. It looks like he spawned in the middle here. Which uh, is telling me that his Hayate div mate as well as the uh, Shiki are also probably in the middle. And are either heading over in this direction as well. Or uh, they're somewhere near the Stalingrad. And the Hayate actually gets spotted. Uh, by what I can only assume is our friendly Hayate based on these, uh, him being spotted here, I think. These two just kind of face-checked each other and neither of them was expecting to, uh, run into each other. But, right here, what these torpedoes are, is these are aimed for the Hayate, accounting for him, uh, trying to m crawl forward in his smoke and go dark from our, uh, friendly Hayate. And that last set was aimed... Pretty much right at that channel there, because I'm what I'm trying to do is I want to try and cut off the es the p p bleh, the escape route from that Hayate. I want to d tr basically deny him the ability to duck into that channel if I can. Uh, that's what the goal of those torpedoes are, but it's not going to matter because we do end up dev striking him with the torpedoes that we launched previously. No dice on the torpedoes for the Napoli, which is very unfortunate because it does, it did look like he was uh, lined up pretty well for that. But Napoli did burn his gimmick uh, for, I mean, I guess because he's just walking right into the middle of sea. So this gimmick's not going to last forever. He actually ends up taking a, what I can only assume is a Hayate Torp right there. Uh, he ends up taking one of those, so he's already flooding uh, or at least he uses DCP. I don't know if it's a perma flood or not, but either way, damage is damage, and the DCP was forced, basically. And the fact that uh, he is not being detected still, despite uh, despite he uh, what that his gimmick being down, his uh, full speed smoke is gone. Tells me that he's in that smoke. So I was about to look to launch some torpedoes into that smoke potentially. Or into this Mecklenburg. But right then is when we pick up RPF. And a few seconds later that Hayate gets spotted. And I'm just trying to keep this guy hard lit for a little while. But he ends up smoking up. And right here I'm about to launch torpedoes at this Hayate. And uh, I'm trying to remember what the pause button here. So these torpedoes, uh, when this Hayate was spotted, 
Uh, first off, I'm going to try and uh, explain a little bit about what was going on right up to that point. So, first of all, we picked up RPF. Uh, you saw my little RPF indicator go from 1 to 2, and that immediately told me that there was a destroyer nearby. Uh, because we were already being RPF by one ship, which at, up to this point I assumed was the enemy destroyer anyway. But it turns out that there's more than one person over here with RPF. Because this enemy Shima has already been spotted on the complete opposite side of the map. And the only other ship that it is possible to have RPF on is this Stalingrad right here. So this Stalingrad is running RPF and that is going to come into play later. And we pick up the Hayate's RPF and immediately as soon as we picked up that RPF I immediately knew okay there's a destroyer that just moved further away from uh, whatever it was previously closest to and is now locating me. So looking at the map here where could that destroyer be? It could have been from right here and is rotating over to here. That's a possibility. Uh, but the fact that B is not being flipped, not being contested at all, leads is leading me to believe that it's probably not... Uh, I mean, it technically could be, but it's probably not here. What he's more likely to be is he was locating one of these two guys and he just launched torpedoes at them and now he's looking to uh, disengage while his torpedoes are on reload. And in doing so, he kind of approached whichever target he was going for, which I believe is most likely to be the Hindenburg. Uh, he approached his target, launched torpedoes, and then immediately turned away and went to kite back up north. And in doing so, he ended up getting spotted by me. Uh, we kept him perma-spotted for a few minutes because we do have a pretty substantial uh, concealment buffer on him, being 6.1 kilometer conceal. So we were able to hard spot him for a few seconds there and force his smoke. So these torpedoes, uh, the first two are pretty much aimed at this area right here and into the smoke that he already laid. Uh, just like before, we're, lay we're setting one set slightly ahead of the... Uh, of where the smoke currently is, accounting for that Hayate moving forward in his smoke and staying concealed. And then one set kind of just into the smoke that's already there, just in case on the uh, chance that that destroyer is a dumbass and uh, just sits in the smoke and sits still. And this last set is the most important because what I'm expecting right here is this Hayate, as soon as he smoked up and went dark, I'm kiting away. And this guy, what I'm expecting is he is going to want to disengage and get safe as fast as possible because he does not want to have to fight me at a concealment disadvantage without his smoke in front of an Ohio and a Hindenburg. That is just not a good day for him. So what I'm expecting is this Hayate is going to want to go accelerate as soon as he's dark, accelerate and dip through these islands to try and kite uh, through those islands and back up north towards his friendly team. And that is what those uh, torpedoes are meant to catch him out for. Uh, hold on. Can I not press play? Uh, okay. Alright, that was weird. Uh, okay, I replay controls are fucking weird like i was pressing the home key to make the replay like play and it just wouldn't play and i was like huh what do i have to restart my game did i just uh done fuck it up but no it, it looks like we're good now so uh excuse my dumbassery there i guess just taking a look at uh where these torpedoes are and yep right there that hayate did exactly what i was expecting him to he tried to dip back up through these islands and uh and then try and head back north and he got caught out by those torpedoes so with both of those destroyers dead we end up getting radar here actually which i'm a little bit surprised about uh, i was expecting him to well i i was expecting to be radar but i was expecting him to hit it as soon as i stepped into sea uh but he hit it a little bit early so 
that's fine. And we're not going to really take that much damage. There's not a whole lot over here that can even shoot at me. Stalingrad is not exactly known for uh, being an HE DPM monster like the Worcester or Des Moines would be. He does land a little bit of a hit on, a hit on me here. And uh, knocks a bit of my shit out, which is a, a little annoying. But overall, not too bad. But the radar is down now. So we are pretty much free to step right back into the uh, into the cap here. I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit. Right here, I'm just taking a look at potential torpedo targets. This uh, Shiki is really not a good shot, uh, but it's only it's really the only shot I have. Uh, cause the Wisconsin, I mean, the Wisconsin could be a shot if he decides to, like, push in, uh, like so, but I'm not expecting him to do that. He's pretty much played in the, pretty much the sniper game, the majority of the game, and he's most likely going to be keeping on doing that. So I do decide to launch some torpedoes at the Shiki. They're not good torpedoes, but I'm not going to need them. Uh, for the next little while here because I don't have any shots This game is uh, going fairly well for us by the way and also just so you know I do believe the uh, we're getting the yeah We are in fact getting the uh, everyone's favorite replay bug of the uh, scores being flipped So just keep that in mind is uh, the scores you see up here are flipped so we are the ones uh, climbing from 450 and onwards and the enemy are the ones who are at 210. Yep, we do actually get radar here, which I was honestly a little surprised by. Because I was expecting to have a little bit more time to, uh, before his radar came off of cooldown. But we, we're we fine. Uh, the Stalin is really the only person who has the shot on me. Because the Wisconsin uh, did exactly what I was describing earlier. He's playing the, uh, passive sniper game, and for some reason decided to duck behind that island there. The Shiki was behind an island. The Sherborg, honestly, I was expecting to die before he even got a shot off, which he's not doing. Uh, he's about to, but, uh, he didn't die as fast as I was expecting him to, but he, there he goes. And this Stalingrad is most likely going to hug this island right here. I highly doubt he's going to push out into the cap when he knows that there's a Shima out here. And he knows that I'm out here because he fucking radared me. And he fucking shot at me. So he knows uh, that I'm here. And he also, if that wasn't enough, he is also running RPF. So uh, he knows exactly where I am. And if he is smart, he would be telling this Wisconsin, hey, get the fuck back. There's a Shima rotating over there to uh, put some torpedoes into you. Uh, you might want to, like, play the island cockroach game that you've been playing for the past, like, five minutes. Uh, just keep doing that. Just don't push into him. So, he does end up pushing anyway. And I do launch one set of torpedoes right here just on the chance that he's going to straight line. I'm not expecting him to. What I am expecting him to do is exactly right there. Because when we look at what's going on on the mini-map right here, we have an Ohio right over here. Uh, I don't know what health that Ohio is on. Uh, what is he on? Uh, he's about on half health. But uh, either way, a half health Ohio still has guns that hurt just as much as a full health Ohio. So this Wisconsin is put in a really unenviable spot right here because he is being forced to angle against this Ohio or risk just getting absolutely deleted by his 18 inch guns and he's not only being forced to angle he's being forced to angle up against these islands uh, with a destroyer that he knows is out here assuming that that Stalingrad uh, did what he should have done and told them like hey I have RPF and there's a Shima out there but for one reason or another, he decides to just push right out and we are able to take him down because he put himself into a spot 
where he basically had no options. He was being forced to angle against two battleships, uh, or at least one battleship, and possibly two, depending on if the Yamato was brave enough to uh, back out and try and get a shot on him. But either way, he's dead, and we are not. And that is really what matters. We are in a little bit of a of a sticky spot right here. We are currently only one ship ahead right now, and we're about to uh, most likely lose our... In fact, we have just lost our Yamato. We are no longer in control of sea. We just lost our Ohio as well. So now we have three battleships, uh, the Shiki, the uh, Yamato, and the Mecklenburg. The Stalingrad, who, by the way, remember, is a radar cruiser. And I believe there's a U-2501, uh, who actually, now that I think of it, hasn't been spotted this entire game, I don't think. Uh, I think uh, those are his torpedoes right over there. Uh, I think I remember seeing his uh, pings on the minimap with that, uh, well, submarine pings on minimap mod, which, by the way, is in Aslan's and is one of the uh, more useful mods that you can download from there. But right now, uh, all I'm looking at is I'm going to get into C. And I'm t I was talking about this on stream. This Stalingrad, we don't know the status of his radar. Most likely, if he has charges left, it would be available. But take a look at what's going on and take a look at where the enemy team is. If I were to get radar here, what are they going to do about it? Uh, literally no one has a shot on me except for maybe, uh, that maybe this Yamato, which I think he should be able to uh, arc over that island just fine. But his guns are facing at the Repub and the, uh, Soyuz that are, like, kind of in his mouth. So, even if I were to get radar here, so what? And the fact that we did not get radar here at all does kind of tell me that most likely... Uh, he doesn't have radars left. What probably happened is he either burnt a radar earlier on that we didn't know about. Maybe we were playing with the Hayate and the Napoli and the uh, Stalin burnt a radar. Or when we were playing with the Wisconsin, he burnt one as well. That's a possibility. Right now, these torpedoes are just aimed for the Stalingrad sitting in that channel. And this one is uh, aimed for this Shiki. We do lose the Soyuz, which is not unfortunate, or it is, it is unfortunate, but it's also not critical, not yet anyway, due to the fact that we have such a points lead and two caps. And the best case right now is this Mecklenburg is just going to die. He is uh, stuck bow into a Shiki, and he's just low health, and the Shiki is not. He's, he's dead. So the Mecklenburg is going to die, and our Repub... I was actually talking on stream about if this Repub can just ram out this uh, this Yamato, uh, that would be good because then it would just leave me to deal with the Shiki, and then the Shiki gets absolutely clapped by our own Shiki. I'm really not entirely sure how. Uh, I guess he got cheeked right there or something, or maybe he did a slight gamer turn or a little bit too big of a gamer turn whatever the case may be uh the shiki is about to die and uh yeah we're gonna speed this one up real quick i'm just gonna try and get a little bit of cheeky damage on him we're just going to step right into b here and our shiki I guess you can call it karma, ends up getting clapped out by the uh, Stalingrad in the same way that he killed the enemy Shiki via the Cheek, which the Shiki is a Yamato health, keep in mind, so it does have that same weakness. Uh, so the Stalingrad takes down the Shiki. I believe he's about to kill the Republic as well, because the Repub, yep, is flat broadside. Yep, so... We have some torpedoes out for the Stalin if he were to push out, but at this point, I have 875 points climbing, and then, uh, oh, looks like the, uh, 
the repub got griefed by the submarine is what happened there. That's why he was uh, game returning. But anyway, what do I have to do here to win? Uh, I have to cap B and then sit on my ass and do nothing. This Stalingrad, I have so much health left that even if I get radared, he's not going to kill me. He just His radar's not long enough to kill me. And, uh, and his DPM and his alpha is just not high enough to kill me in the time of his radar. So this Stalingrad is basically screwed. No matter what they do, they're just so far behind on, uh, on points that they have to kill me in order to win this game. Because even if they get all three caps, they are so far behind on points that... We are at 950 almost, and climbing, because we are we still have C. Keep in mind, it's going to take this Stalingrad 60 seconds to cap that base, and then he still has to cross that open water to get to C. So initially what I was looking at is I was going to head over to here to just torpedo this channel in between B and C. But this Stalingrad is actually turning north. He's not even going into a position... To head to see because probably he knows what I do is that he has to kill me in order to win But all we're gonna do is here is we have so much health to play with We're just gonna be a little bit cheeky and we're gonna farm a little bit more uh, Experience and we're gonna get some base resets and possibly piss off a of Stalingrad a little bit The Stalingrad did snap a shot off at me, which is fine because I have so much health, unless I detonate, which I'm not going to because I have the debt flag, uh, he is not going to kill me. And he whiffed his shot anyway, but uh, with that Stalingrad going north, there is no chance that he is going to be able to win this game on points or caps. And he's actually going to int out of the uh, B here a little bit, so he's not even going to get the capture credit. Not that he was going to get it anyway. Because I was just going to keep resetting him, but that is pretty much going to wrap up this game. Uh, this was a very nice game uh, that, we again, did happen on stream on Friday. I do stream now, if you haven't been paying attention to my community posts. Uh, I stream on Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but... This game, what I think really demonstrates is, first of all, predictive torpedo launching, uh, as we saw with those two Hayates, reading people's RPF. I didn't actually mention this during the, uh, during the game because I was too busy running my mouth, but when we were capturing C after the Stalin, when I was busy talking about, like, no one having shots on me, uh, we actually dropped off of RPF right there, and that is what I was talking about with that Stalingrad RPF being significant because as soon as we dropped off of RPF there, I knew right away that I could afford to uh, start being a little more aggressive. I can afford to round that corner, not risk uh, Stalingrad being like seven kilometers away and getting radared. I still ran the risk of being radared at that point, but even if I did get radared, uh, just like I talked about at the end, I had so much health that even if I got radared, I could just tank it, no problem. So, uh, that is a pretty, well, not really low damage game, but it is a pretty impactful one. Uh, we played for capture points. As you see, we have three solo base caps. We, uh, got some really nice torpedo shots on several different targets. And, uh, we also got a little bit of cheeky, dam well, not really damage, but some cheeky resets snuck in there just because, so... Uh, and on top of that, we also got uh, a fair bit of spotting damage as well. So, all in all, I think this is a very, very solid uh, Shima game that I think highlights really the fundamentals and the nuances of playing destroyers and especially torpedoes destroyers. So, uh, we went over positioning, we went over a little bit of reading people's RPF, we went over predictions, playing for caps, so... Uh, Really good stuff is what we're looking at here. So I have run my mouth for the past 25 minutes straight. So that is going to do it for this game and this replay. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow.